Dear Mrs. Martin, I send regrets for my son, Frank. Frank will be unable to keep his dinner engagement with you this evening, as he is in hospital as a result of an automobile accident last night. And although the injuries are not serious, the consequences are. He wanted me to tell you the truth. That while driving his friend's motor car, he was intoxicated. Oh, the truth would come out soon enough. But Frank has too much respect and fondness for you to have you hear it from someone else. As soon as Frank can get out of his difficulties here, we have decided to move to upstate New York, where there is a clinic that can help Frank, and where we have relatives with whom we can stay. Frank sends along with his regrets, his regard for a warm, intelligent, friendly, and most delightful neighbor across the way. Yours, most respectfully, Mrs. Matthew Murphy. Blanche, what is it? He's not coming. He's in the hospital. But it shows that I care. Oh, wait, just to be sure my steak is cooked rare. OK, let's not talk about what I consume. Let's have a nice meal. We can, I assume. All right. Let's discuss the new bathroom. Again? <laughs> you promised we'd get one. I'd like to know when. What's wrong with the one we have? The toilet still flushes. <laughs> We are wasting water. Low flow gives less gushes. It's fewer. Anyway, what's the big deal? It's not like a toilet has that much appeal. They have toilets out now that just flush when you sit. So your tuckers get soaked while you're taking I it. all <laughs> get. I'll be dead. A what? It's for cleaning yourself the French way. For 65 years, toilet papers work fine. But I want a bathroom that's top of the line. 